Hi, Jeremy Cohen here with a Make Your Fiddle Swing Minute. Now it's entirely possible that this may take a little bit longer than a minute, but let's get started learning how to produce better tone, improvise, and make your fiddle swing. In this Make Your Fiddle Swing Minute, I'd like to talk about understanding the chords. A lot of us musicians that are trained to, to read notes don't frequently pay attention to chords that are printed on a page of music. In this book, Make Your Fiddle Swing, we include chords in the book specifically so that players who want to learn how to improvise can start paying attention to the things that improvisers pay attention to. For example, chords. Now, in 21st century blues, you'll notice above the bars there are letters these are the roots of chords the root note of a g chord is a g now what i'd like to do is play an arpeggio for one three five the notes the 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 notes of the scale to express an arpeggio of a g chord here's a one three five in g and then bar two, you'll see there's a C, and the first, third, and fifth tone of the C scale are these. So for bar one and two of 21st century blues, an expression of the chords in their most simple form would be this. Now I'm not actually improvising yet, but it's starting to sound like I'm giving another playing of the tune that's not based on the melody. So, to go a little bit further, let's go through the first part of the tune. I'll explain the chord and I'll play the root third and fifth of each of the chords in the first half of the song. Okay, bar one, G major. Second chord, C. Third note, third bar, I'm sorry. Third bar, G. Again, the next bar, G followed by a C, and another, and then followed it by a G, and another bar. Now we move to a D. Now the next bar has an E flat and a D in it. So one, three, five in E flat, and one, three, five in D, and then back to G major. So if I were to play these in a sequence without, in a slow metronomic tempo, it would sound something like this. Does that make sense? Did you hear that E flat chord and D chord go by pretty quickly? That's because that bar has two chords in it. E flat, here's one, three, five, and here's D. And that has to take the space of one bar. So again, I'll play the sequence in time using the ascending arpeggios. Now you can play along with me and do that and follow the chord names and you'll develop a deeper understanding of what rhythm players understand and how improvisations are crafted on top of chord names. I hope you enjoyed this Make Your Fiddle Swing Minute. I'll see you again.